to see where I am live. Uh, so I'm just making sure that I am. Oh, I think I am. I think I am. Okay, yay, I am live. Let me just check YouTube. Just make sure I'm live there. Hello, everybody. Now, I did not, I didn't share this with my list. Usually I do. Um, I did not. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. Hold on, let me just head back to Ecamm. Um, if you are here and you are watching, say hello. Today we are talking about, we're doing two things actually. Things that we're doing are, um, I'm not, I hope this is not being crazy. Hold on. Uh, hey, Jessica. Okay, yes, yes, I am. Okay, awesome. Um, all right, I think I am live on YouTube and I am live on Instagram. Hello, hello everybody. I did not share this with my email list um, because I didn't have time. It's been a crazy weekend over here. Today, I am doing two things. I'm gonna do my makeup on live with you guys. Um, stay tuned, something might, you know, we don't know how this is gonna go because this is just a really chill live series that I'm doing on Sundays and it's really based on two things, right? Um, us just talking about and sharing things that people don't share on the back end of social media. We all know social media is a highlight reel and everything looks so perfect on it and there are so many things that we don't ever touch on or talk about. So today, um, I'm doing my makeup while I talk to you guys. I feel like I just heard something in my apartment. I'm doing my makeup while I talk to you guys, but we're also talking about five things or five signs or things that you need to always check in for when you're feeling low vibrational, when you aren't feeling like yourself, especially when we think about life and business, right? So I'm on here with a pretty plain face. <laughs> I don't have anything going on. And um, yeah, drop a hello if you are here. I see Jessica's here, uh, Pure Lux face and body. So I'm streaming live on Facebook and, um, and on YouTube as well. So let's dive in because I already rambled enough, right? So I'm going to be looking at my phone because my phone is where I have all my notes. <laughs> and we're just going to be chilling and talking. And I am sweating a bit. But hey, um, we're just going to rock out, right? Um, let me just find my notes. I want to make sure that you guys can hear me well. So if you can hear me, please let me know if you can. Um, and if you can't, let me know as well, right? So I hope that you guys can hear. So this is the thing. We have things that are preventing us from showing up in business and in life, right? Or I, I like to say life first because life is life and business comes second. Although when you are building your business or working for yourself, you tend to think about, um, you know, business as the first thing that you wake up and think about, go to sleep and think about, at least I know for me. Awesome, Jessica. All right, okay guys, so this is the thing. When we are in that mode, a lot of times we might be feeling, especially if we have a lot going on around us, we might feel like we have, uh, we're feeling down or we just can't get out of a rut. And so obviously we gotta go into story time, right? Um, so for me, I realized that I was feeling low vibrational a few weeks ago and I was like, what the heck is going on? Obviously I can't do makeup and talk at the same time, but I'm gonna try. So I couldn't understand why I was feeling so low vibrational. And then I decided to check on a few things. And these are the things that I always check in on every time I feel like my vibration is super low, right? And when I say my vibration is super low, I have no energy, I'm feeling down, I'm feeling anxious or depressed. And yes, we have a lot going on with uh, COVID and being locked down and the protests and everything. So these are things that you can use during this time, but also you can use them, um, you know, when, when things this heavy are not all going on at the same time. Because I feel like it's worse right now right? I don't even know if I can do my makeup because I'm sweating, guys. I was sweating last week, too. Um, 
Luckily, I don't mind coming on here like this, <laughs> right? So when I'm feeling stuck, these are a few things that I ask myself. So these are the five things that I check in with. The first thing that I check in with is actually what have I been watching or consuming, right? So what is the thing that I've been watching or what are the things that I've been watching consistently and consuming? And a lot of times, the reason why I tell you check this, like write this down somewhere. The reason why I tell you check in with this is because a lot of times we don't even realize what we're doing because it seems so normal to us at the time. So if something seems super normal to you at the time, then um, you're not going to realize that it's something that you should not be doing, right? So it's something that you shouldn't be doing and you're doing it anyway. And you probably don't question yourself. Like I was not questioning myself at all. I was just consuming. And it's funny because at the beginning of the pandemic, I started off really checking in with what I was watching, how much I was consuming and all of those things. And it just did not continue that way. So I, and I, after a while, fell prey to all of the things that are going on in the world. And I am human and you're human too. And this is why I'm telling you, check in with it because it brings your vibration all the way down. So that's something that you want to check in on. And when I say consuming, I mean watching. What channels are you watching on YouTube? Um, is it a lot of gossip? Is it a lot of news updates that don't make you feel good about the pandemic and what's going on? Why am I telling you this? All of these things will affect the vibration that you operate with when it comes to your business and showing up because then you, you focus on becoming a consumer and you're so filled with consumption and all of the things that you're taking in that you cannot be a creator, right? So you can't create because you're only focused on consuming. And then when you're in that low vibration of feeling crappy, all the things that you're already struggling with are going to amplify themselves, right? So I want you to think about that. So if you were feeling sucky about not meeting your business goals last month, it's going to be amplified because you're watching things or you're taking in things that are just not um, doing anything good for you. Right? So this is me putting on some foundation. Quick light beat. This is what I would do if I'm going to a Zoom meeting <laughs> or a Zoom date. Does anyone do Zoom dates? <laughs> So that's the first one. And consumption could mean even on all social media platforms. So it could also mean um, Instagram, um, YouTube, Facebook. Facebook is huge because a lot of times, I feel like on Instagram, I can choose, and let me know if this is you as well. I feel like on Instagram, I can choose my audience because you're usually following specific people on Instagram. But I feel like on YouTube, it's a, I mean, on Facebook, it's a bit different because you're following your friends and your family and they may not always have the same views that you have as it comes to business. Last week, we spoke about friends and family. And sometimes you'll tell your friend or your family, yo, I'm going to be a millionaire in three years. And they'll look at you like you're crazy. But if you're talking to someone else who is living the same life as you or whose goals are in alignment with yours, then they're going to say, yo, that's totally possible. Maybe you can do it in two. Or they might say, you know what? Maybe four, if you do this, 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 and that, you know, like every, every it, it's really all about being intentional. And that's what we're talking about today. Right. All right. Let me see. Pure Lux face and body said I had to digital detox last month. My spirit was so drained. Yes. And guys, we also have to realize that it's an addiction. Even when you decide, all right, I'm logging out of Instagram, you're so used to doing it. Your fingers will find the spot. Your fingers will just press, you know, log in without your brain even thinking, yo, I'm not supposed to be doing this until you're logged in. And then you're like, oh, I'm logged in, so I might, I might as well as go ahead and look at it. And that is, that is something that, yes, I love how you said that you had to detox because it is a detox. Jessica said, yes, I feel like there is more news on Facebook as well. Yes, and I feel like the news on, on Facebook isn't fact-checked fact as quickly as Twitter or Instagram. Like, we have sources that we would go to on Instagram that are probably sources that we trust. And I feel like on Facebook the sources are less trustworthy. And I feel like that's why I hardly spend time on Facebook. You know, um, I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook. I spend time on Facebook for Facebook groups. You guys know we just did Thinking Color, so the pop-up is there. 
But Facebook is the last platform that I'm on because as a creator, I have to be careful about what I am consuming. So yes, Jessica, I love that you shared that. Um, Hey, cuz, <laughs> Dominic is here. Yes, we have to detox and we have to be intentional about uh, detoxing as well. So that's something that I feel like we need to pay attention to and we don't always pay attention to it. Um, it seems like everyone is so angry. Yes, I rarely do Facebook. And it's so funny because sometimes my mom will ask me if I saw something on Facebook and I'm like, mom, I really am not on Facebook a lot. Um, and... I don't know. I think for me, um, to be really honest, I used Facebook really early um, when I was in college and it was only for college kids. And so because of that, I hardly have friends on Facebook. I've tried a few times to use it like in um, for business, but yeah, I hardly am on Facebook. I'll use my Facebook page sometimes and still um, I've realized that I'm never completely consistent with using it in that way either right um you guys know we got to create some dimension um for when we are on camera right so that's what i'm doing right now using a bit of concealer and i started with great skin guys so don't laugh at my faces while i'm doing my face but i started with um i don't know if it'll focus for you guys to see but it's the ordinary i don't know if you guys have ever Heard about this product, it's really affordable. And from them, I love using the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip oil, rosehip seed oil. And yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it, it gives you a beautiful glow, especially under your makeup, so that your makeup doesn't look crazy. But yeah, so that's the first thing, your consumption. Be mindful of what you are consuming. Okay, second check-in is huge. Hmm. I spoke about this on Instagram. So if you're following me on Instagram, I spoke about this the other day, right? I am horrible at multitasking. So if I do this again, I'll just be doing my face and not sharing um, a video. But the second thing is um, what, you, what you water grows, right? So focus. What are you focusing on? What have you been focusing on lately? And so because of us looking at things that we're not supposed to be consuming consistently, we end up, we end up focusing on the things that we shouldn't be focused on. Um, thank you, Merge Dance Academy. <laughs> I look crazy right now, but <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, so what you focus on works. So what you, I mean, what you water, it really grows. So if you are looking at things like that, example, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one crazy one. Obviously, um, I love business. I love talking about business. I live business. And so um, one thing is that <laughs> coming into the pandemic, everyone was so focused on um, that there, you know, the economy and, you know, like it was so much negativity as it pertains to the economy. Right. Guys, let me blend this out before. It stays that way. <laughs> but there was so much negativity around the economy. And then I watched some of my friends and the people that I admire hit um, a 100K month or a million dollar month. You guys know we had Thinking Color recently where Danielle Leslie shared that she had a million dollar month. And um, we also had Rochelle um, Graham of Allocay Naturals. She had a million dollar day. She had an order that came in for a million during a pandemic. So what you focus on is what is going to grow. And if you're focused on the wrong things, then, you know, that's going to be tough and rough. Hey, Chris. <laughs> so you have to think about it in that way. Like you don't want to be focused on, hey, Kalisha, <laughs> you don't want to be focused on all these negative things that, you know, you, if, if someone else can have a million dollar a month during a pandemic and you entered the pandemic and you were so focused only on the fact that everyone is saying the economy is falling apart and all of that stuff, then if you focus on that and you tell yourself, well, guess what? I'm not going to be able to make any money. What happens is you put that action into 
everything that you believe and then you start behaving that way. So you're, you're, you say the thing and your body starts behaving like the thing. And suddenly you don't want to come out of bed. You don't want to get out of bed to represent your business. You don't want to show up and show your face on camera. You don't want to write your new email sequence for your new product that you had decided to launch before all of this was going on. So what you focus on is what is going to grow. And let me tell you something. Uh, bad things can grow, right? So a lot of um, people are so focused on lack and being a victim and woe is me. And a lot of people that I talk to, think they, they think that it's only them going through the situation and it's not only you. There's a lot of us going through the same things. But how you choose to deal with situations is what matters. Are you going to look at it as a blessing or are you going to look at it um, or a lesson or are you going to just sit in it and not decide to um, move, you know, if that makes sense, right? Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> Yes, you have to watch your focus. So a lot of us are stuck in victim mode or victim mentality. Woe is me. This is going wrong for me. Um, you know, yo, you are so, so in control of your thoughts um, that it is actually insane. And if you decide that you are going to have an amazing day, an amazing month, then your body starts moving in that way, right? I might sound crazy, but what I'm saying is so true. Um, Kalisha said exactly what we focus on is what will be our reality. Yes, that is so true. You create your, your reality. You're so in control of it. You don't even understand. Um, Pure Lux face and body said, I make my passwords affirmations. That's a good idea because then they're going to be long and they're not going to be asking me to make it stronger. <laughs> so even when I don't feel a certain way, I still have daily reminders. I love that. Guys, I cannot multitask, obviously, because I'm not doing my face. But I said I was going to come on here. I said I was going to come on here and do this, so I'm doing it. Okay, we may not get to the end of doing my face, but that's all right. All right, um, <laughs> let me see. Um, and I do this just to show you guys that nothing is perfect. That's what, I, that's what this series is about. Like I said, if you came in late, this is the cutting room floor. We do this on a Sunday afternoon when everybody is just relaxed and getting ready to get into the week. This is based on all the things that we don't see on the highlight reel that is social media, right? So this is the real, real, real talk. We're here chilling and we are just being so real and so transparent because that's, that's what it is. When I talk about these things, these are things that I probably have go gone through in the past weeks or am currently working and pushing through because girl, ain't nobody perfect, right? Chris said, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. That is a, an amazing idea. Um, so, okay, first I spoke about what have I been watching? Whether it's YouTube, whether it's Instagram, what have I been watching? The other thing is what have I been listening to, right? And so sometimes we get caught up. I'll tell you something so crazy. <sighs> so um, I live in Dallas now, right? But when I lived in New York, I would take the train to work. I would take the train everywhere. Right. So um, I live in Dallas and I still don't drive. <laughs> right. Because I took the train everywhere. And I'll tell you one thing. Um, there was. Hey, Joy. <laughs> there was a huge shift in my mindset when I first started my business, because on the train, if you look at everyone on the train, they're listening to something in their AirPods. And so obviously I was doing the same thing. Right. And then I, so this was like 2014. And then I realized that um, I started calculating the time that I have on the train, right? I'm using this black radiance palette. I don't know if you guys can see it. I obviously use this so much. Um, but so I started realizing that I have 45 minutes to and from home. And I decided to use that time to educate myself rather than listen to music. Because 90, I always, I always want to be doing what the 5% of people are doing, right? I ain't ready for the 1% yet, girl. But it's coming. But the 5%, I can do the 5%. And so 95% of people on the train are listening to music, right? Or, or something that is just probably not feeding their souls. So I decided every time I got into that train, I had two things to do. I would write blog posts or listen to podcasts, right? So 
<laughs> there came a time where I was blogging so consistently. I don't even blog as much as I used to anymore. But I was blogging so consistently that people would ask me, Zay, how the heck do you create so much content? And that actually created a muscle because even up to this day, my content creation game is crazy. I love doing it. But that started from having time on the train. And it's funny because now I don't take the train because I work for myself and I don't take transport to go anywhere. Um, but it's crazy because sometimes I feel like that was my time because I was so dedicated on that train every day that now I'll be like, damn, I wish I had the train. Not knowing that um, later on I found out that sometimes people travel just to write because you don't have any other distractions. So you, you can take a train from, um, you know, somewhere far to somewhere far and write. You know, like if you have a book to finish or you have blog posts you want to put out, like take, take the train and just go somewhere, but you're doing it for the purpose of creation, right? Isn't that so crazy? Um, so a lot of times we're doing things and we don't know why we're doing them, but take the time to think about what you've been listening to. What podcasts have you been listening to? What books have you been reading? What are you listening to right before you fall asleep? Are you listening to music before you fall asleep? Are you listening to a meditation before you fall asleep? Because I feel like I have way better days when I'm intentional about what I listen to before I fall asleep. So if I fall asleep listening to a prayer or a meditation or a good audiobook or a good podcast, that gives me a better... Um, result the next day because what I'm soaking in is what's going to marinate. So, um, audible has like a timer, an eight minute timer. And so I'll put that timer on. Um, yeah. And fall asleep to whatever it is that I'm listening to. Obviously it can't be something that you really want to pay attention to, but guys, whew, game changer, <laughs> right? So pay attention to what you are listening to. It is so powerful. Diversify what you're putting in your ears because it's going to end up in your brain, right? <laughs> um, the next thing is who have I been around? So remember, all of these things are things you can check in um, to make sure that or, or to figure out like why am I feeling so slow or sluggish or why am I um, not achieving my goals or how can I get out of a rut really because a lot of times we don't realize what we're doing right all right we're gonna buff all of the craziness in and I'm using the black radiance soft focus hope you guys can see that and I am milk chocolate because I'm a brown brown girl <laughs> Um, but yes, let me know what you guys have been listening to. I want to know. I am currently listening to, um, I listen to, I alternate my audiobooks, right? Guys, when I'm doing my powder, I have to get everywhere. I even get up into my shaved spots. That is so funny, but I do because I want to blend my face into my hairline. <laughs> Right. Um, and so, yes, what are you listening to? I want you to tell me what you've been listening to lately um, in the comments, because, girl, so I have a mirror in front of me and I'm looking more into the camera than the mirror. Uh, Joy said Atomic Habits. I have not listened to that book just yet and I need to listen to it because I've heard so many good things about it. Um, wait, so is Joy the only person reading in here? Come on, guys. <laughs> I want to know. Um, I'm listening to a few different things right now. Um, I'm listening to, let me open my Audible. Um, the Magic of, Th of Thinking Big is one that I've been listening to lately. I'm listening also to The Energy Codes. I started that two days ago. Um, I also listened to the, one of the last books was 50 Cent. You guys know I love entertainment and rap, and my dream job would be to be a rapper girl. Um, but yes, <laughs> so that's one of the last books I listened to, 50 Cent, um, Hustle Smarter, and you understand why he is such a troll. Kalisha said, Erin Marie's I Am Beautiful, Wild, Free, I Am a Beautiful, Wild, and Free Woman Affirmations. I have not heard of that. Thank you, Kalisha, for dro dropping that. Um, Chris said, I've been reading The Unfettered Soul. Um, and listening to Boundaries by Henry Cloud. Actually, Chris, you brought up something so um, interesting. So I kind of want to know, do you guys enjoy reading audiobooks more or do you enjoy, um, do you, yeah, do you enjoy listening to audiobooks more? Or do you enjoy reading a book book? 
Um, just finished Limitless, Kalisha said. And Rochelle's 90 Days to CEO. Yes, I read that probably two months ago as well from another Caribbean girl. So good to see. And and it's it's crazy because Rochelle's book has so many gems that I feel like we learned, like, in the Caribbean that were, like, you know, like, you have to do things in this way. Like, you have to, like... Bro, I could go on and on. I feel like it's such good information in there. Um, Jessica said, I've been listening to Million Dollar Life Lessons podcast. Thank you for that, Jessica. So Jessica just opened up something else. What podcasts are you guys listening to? Guys, I am so tired doing my face. I don't even know if I can do my brows on a live stream. Let's see. Let's let's challenge Saylee today. Chris said, I prefer reading unless I'm driving. <laughs> I get distracted more often with audiobooks. I can definitely feel that. I feel like I've been buying audiobooks as well as um, as well as the book itself lately as well. Because, you know, Amazon gives it to you for a uh, uh, discounted price if you buy both. So I've been falling into that marketing trap as well. But yes. Joy said, my bedtime routine, I like to read regular books. I have been finding myself doing that too, Joy. Um, intentionally too, right? Thank you for sharing that, guys. You guys are so awesome. Kalisha said, definitely book, book. I love it. All right. Uh, we are almost there. We're almost there. Um, and we have not been on too long. Last, last, uh, last Last Sunday, we were on for an hour, and I did not even realize it. I hope I'm getting all of the comments. So I see some of you are on YouTube and some are on Facebook. So that's perfect. Um, all right. So we spoke about who have I been around, friends or family. Um, and masterminds. Like, that's another thing. Merge said Quiet by Susan King. You guys are dropping some really good books here. Reading Over Believe Bigger by Marshawn Evans Daniels. That is such a good book. I have been listening on and off to Sis Start Your Business by Nicole Martinez. You guys are putting me on because some of these I have never heard of, which is so awesome. Um, and I saw someone say, thank you for thinking color. Thank you for attending and for being there. Um, it was such an amazing experience. And our accelerator starts on Wednesday. So if you're not registered for the accelerator just yet, shameless plug. It is um, an amazing experience. We're going to go live on Tuesday and talk about it a bit too because, yeah, it's going to be bomb. Um, ooh, my brow looks crazy. <laughs> Do not multitask, guys. I'll fix it. But yes, the last thing is, I didn't realize we spoke about four things already. The last one is my favorite. And one of my favorite people is in here who, you know, whose business is based on this, right? Um, joy. <laughs> Uh, joy so my the last question that I always ask myself when I'm in a slump or I'm not feeling really good about what is going on so we spoke about what have I been watching what I've have I been taking in because the eyes are the windows to the soul right so think about that the second thing is what have I been focusing on what you water grows if you've been focusing on lack you are going to end up you know thinking about how stuck you are and all of the things that are not happening to you. If you're thinking in victim mode, you're going to be thinking about all the things that are happening to you alone, which is not what it is. Right. Um, and so what have I been listening to? Right. So the, the, it's, it's knowing what you've been listening to is so powerful as well. I told you guys what you listen to before you fall asleep is such a powerful thing. Um, don't laugh at me with one brow here, guys. <laughs> and so the last one is how have I been treating myself and my body? That one for me is always a struggle. I'll tell you why. It's always a struggle because, um, yeah, I just feel like it, have owning your own business, you're just going to be on your own ass a lot. Like, well, for me, I am, I constantly am going back and forth with, oh my gosh, you're doing a great job to, Oh, shit. Like, you could have done that better. And this is just full transparency. Like I said, this is what the cutting room floor is about. Things that never make social. Um, yes, Kalisha. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> um, yes, Joy. Listen, 
that's the whole thing about it. Um, how have I been treating myself and my body? So a lot of times is that I get so comfortable that, um, you know, I'm not being mindful of how I speak to myself or unraveling traps. So if I'm in a bad mood, asking myself, well, sis, why are you in a bad mood? You're probably tired. You're pro you probably have one thing that's on replay in your head that doesn't even deserve to thrive there. So checking your damn self, we have to do that a lot. Um, it's something that we don't think about or we don't do. And so um, if you're moving in your natural you know, way. So I want you guys to think about that. How are you treating yourself? Are you feeding yourself live or electric foods or are you consuming trash consistently? That's another thing, right? So what have you been eating? How, how have you guys been doing on the eating? Because I feel like the, when I'm eating well and I'm feeding myself electric foods, my brain is like, you know, really sparked, right? I just realized, I think I'm on my personal Facebook account. Yikes. <laughs> Which I never use for anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let me see. Kalisha said, my biggest plan for this year is being around thought leaders based in the US and then COVID. Yes, girl, when we think we got a plan, God is like, <laughs> not today. Um, Joy said, checking in on yourself. Yes. Kalisha said, I've been exercising and practicing self-care throughout the pandemic. Helps me to be more consistent. It really does. I can't lie. Like, whew, it really, really, really does. I think that that is the base of all that we do. So before all of the things I mentioned here, feeding yourself live foods, and I always say in the Caribbean, it's so much easier because... Um, or I could be wrong because obviously I have not lived in the Caribbean for over probably 15 years, right? So um, let me see. Hey, Starla. <laughs> I see ya. Okay, I started eating meat after three years. It's a big no. I'm working back to where I was. Yeah, where I was. This meat life ain't it. Yes, I feel like it slows you down sometimes, you know? Um, and so that's something that we need to be mindful of too. What are we putting into our bodies? Is it electric? Guys, I'm making a mess of my eyebrows on live. Wow, girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> we gonna fix it. Uh, currently intermittent fasting. I recently got my mom into into uh, inter intermittent fasting, um, and she loves it. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop and fix my eyebrows because Lord knows, right? It's so great to see you, Starlet. <laughs> I actually went live on the wrong account, which is so funny. Um, but I'm getting to see a lot of people that I have not seen in a while, and I can appreciate that. Right? I don't like how my eyebrows are coming out. But we're going to fix it. Right? It's going to get there. But yeah, so being mindful of uh, what you're putting into your body. Are you working out? Are you being active? What we don't have here in Trinidad, we import. Most life foods are, that's what I was saying, Kalisha. I feel like in Trinidad, it's easier because most, because the food is better, right? Um, I would feel, I feel like you could get into your backyard and plant your provisions and all of that stuff. I feel like here, we're more inclined to eat processed foods because it's cheaper, right? So it's, it's more um, available and affordable. And that's something that, yeah, people struggle with in the US of A because it's not as available or it's just not, we don't just, it's cheaper. Most people just feel like, sometimes like I do food shopping and girl, I am one person and I'll be like, what the heck? Because I decide to shop from like shop organic or, you know, and it's harder. It's definitely harder. So I can imagine having a family and trying to shop organic from them. And then I feel like in the Caribbean, you can eat from the trees, girl. 
here it's different, you know? Um, it's so different. So, yes, a lot of people have started home gardens. Oh, my gosh. Well, the first thing is that um, I'm from South Trinidad, right? So the bush, a.k.a. And I feel like um, my, not I feel like, my grandfather was grounded or based in agriculture. So we always had uh, fresh fruits, fresh food, fresh garden and all of that stuff right so um it was easier to eat better but when you live in the u.s and mcdonald's is so disgusting but so affordable for most people it's really tough especially people of color right um yes joy said cheaper and readily available um pure Lux face and body said my eight-year-old and i started um, a container garden and we're growing bell peppers and tomatoes. I think it's, it's so refreshing to make your own food that came from your own hands. Um, yeah, just a thought, but yes, that's what I really wanted to come on to say, guys, if you have any questions, you can definitely, we can chat some more. Um, but I really, I'm going to continue doing this series because I feel like these are things that nobody talks about. Nobody talks about how you feel on the back end of, of running a business. We all share, you know, and me included, guilty, um, the highlight reels. But there's so much also going on on the back end of. And I love sharing the back end of the technological aspect because I like sharing or teaching those things so that other people can up level their games and do th uh, their game and do things in a much more simple way, like get a higher quality with simple steps, which is what I love doing. But um, there's so much that we don't share. And these are some of the things that I just want to really talk about. Um, it's amazing watching things grow. Yes, I'm officially an old lady watering her home garden in the morning. It's so funny because I, in my apartment, like I want plants everywhere. And I never saw myself as that person. Kalisha said mangoes, chenets, yes, and, and avocados are all in season. Girl, that sounds heavenly, right? Um, I don't even know what's in season here. I'm horrible at that <laughs> because I'll be the person to buy strawberries and it's not in season and then I'll be mad and then I'll realize, oh, well, it's not in season. What did you expect? You know, so I am horrible at that. Um <sighs> Guys, my eyebrows did not come out the way that I want because I'm talking and doing it. But I rather um, talk to you guys than have bomb brows. But yeah, so these are some some of the things that I'm gonna take a few pictures for the gram so that I have content for the next week. That's why I'm getting this done. I'll probably freshen it up after I get off with you guys. But yes, so. Um, these are definitely things that we want to pay attention to or pay a lot of attention to because a lot of times we're not thinking that these things are directly connected to um, just what we accomplish, right? Um, let me see. Yeah, and that's what really what I wanted to share. I really wanted to um, just talk about these things and thank you guys for being here with me. Um, I don't think anyone has any questions, but if you do, you can leave them down in the comments. Um, and yes, thank you, Starlet. <laughs> I feel like uh, I could have done uh, a better job. I, I am not good at doing two things at once and I always try to convince myself that I am good at it. Like before I got on, I was like, girl, you need to do your, your eyebrows at least before you get on this live. And I did not. And I struggled. Um, but I think that um, one really cool thing in all that we do, or even for me in this season, is looking stupid. You know, like, hey, like, or, or failing. Like, I just failed at eyebrows, which is something I'm known for. Um, in front of you guys. And so just being open to um, not always doing the best job or not always, I think we keep ourselves back with that. Even for my people who are afraid of creating video content, I feel like it's, it's, it always comes back to us not feeling like we're good enough, us not feeling like we're beautiful enough. So half of this video is done with me with no makeup um, because it's not always going to be perfect or things are not always going to look 
um, the way that you want them to look, but still showing up and doing the damn thing. Like, it's not always going to be the way that you want it to come out. And a lot of times we stop ourselves from what we're supposed to do because of that, you know? So definitely, I want you guys to think about that. Um, Starlet said, yes, you taught me to focus on one task at a time. Yes, we have to, because I think even as women of color, we are tempted to do so much at once. Um, and we don't have to, you know, um, yeah, like slow down. Nobody's rushing you, but you, (laughs) um, I like to see real people doing real things. Thanks Dave for being brave. Yeah. And I feel like even in, in me doing this or sharing this, like even sharing feelings that you have on the back end of building a business, I I see a lot of people are definitely scared to share it because they're scared to be judged. You know, they're scared to, um, They're scared for people to truly see them. And it's not an easy thing, but it's also like you're freeing somebody else. Um, I love saying that your mess is bigger, that your message is bigger than your mess. So somebody here is going to come on and feel like there was something that they needed to hear or see. And, you know, they're able to do it. Right. Um, Because I share transparently. And that's even for you guys. Like the other day I was speaking to one of my favorite clients and we were speaking about um, her being a, a bodybuilder. And I was, I was telling her that she needs to break the rules of the industry and actually really share what a bodybuilder goes through rather than just what we see on the front end. We see, you know, the built body and we think it's like they're on and it's discipline all the time. But there are so many psychological things that go along with bodybuilding as well. So, um, you know, being open enough to share those things is what will connect you with your ideal client or customer. So don't be afraid to share. Last week I spoke about polarity and just being, um, being able to really share from a perspective of, I'm, I'm going to say what I truly believe in or what I truly feel, even though other people in my industry believe in this thing and standing for something and rather than not standing for anything or constantly straddling the fence and not saying how you feel so that you won't offend someone. Nobody's in control of your destiny, right? It's you and God (laughs) or God and you for that matter. So keep that in mind. Azia said, I appreciate the compassion you have for yourself. Um, It's definitely admirable. Girl, (laughs) it took a long time to get here. And if I can help someone uh, get here faster, I think a lot of what holds us back is what people think about us, right? So what people think about us, one, or what, what people want to or would judge us for. And so it's like, I always come back to getting on camera. You you don't want to get on camera because you're scared that someone might think you're ugly or someone might think you don't have no eyebrows. Or a lot of times we're also connected to shit that we heard about ourselves as kids, right? So if somebody, you know, told you something about yourself as a kid and you remain with that, that trauma of what that person said and you grew with that, then you're afraid to show up and get on camera and really share um, what you're supposed to share in your leadership journey because of what someone said. And then you give that person so much power over your entire life and you probably don't even know where that person is. You don't know about that person. You don't know where they are or what what part of the world they're in or what walk of life they're currently going through, but you're still giving that person so much power because they told you something about yourself that wasn't even true because they were hurting about something that somebody probably told them, right? Um, Can you tell us uh, a little bit about the upcoming Accelerator? Of course. So in the Accelerator, we're covering so many things. Um, Okay, so I'm done doing my face. I'll probably finish my face um, when I get off. So in the Accelerator, what we're doing is we're walking you through from your course idea And we're helping you actually come up with the idea for the course. A lot of times people have an idea and they don't know how to execute on the Thinkific platform. A lot of, so, okay, first of all, I've been a Thinkific expert for the past probably four years. Yes, because I'm almost three years in Dallas and I started before I moved to Dallas. And so 
One of the things I see the most is that people have a sales page on Thinkific and it doesn't have anything. It's not selling to anyone. Um, so they just don't know how to probably create a sales page or what should they say on a sales page? Like someone should get on your sales page and if it's right for them, feel inclined to make a purchase, right? Or after a webinar, after you've prepared them, make a purchase. But a lot of times I see people who start and they have no sales page or not talking to anyone at all, or they're talking to too many people. And so we're going to walk you through that as well. We're also going to walk you through creating a freebie and, you know, creating an email funnel for that. And you're going to be able to communicate with me. Um, we're going to be live every week for five weeks and we're going to be covering specific topics. So it's all laid out on the accelerator page. If you're not signed up yet and you have an idea that you want to share with the world on autopilot or on repeat, you need to be there. Um, Merge, if you have any specific questions that you want to ask, you can definitely ask them because I'm probably maybe there's something that you want to know more about that we can talk about but yes so that's what the accelerator is based on it's gonna be pretty exciting i'm excited to connect with um everyone so many people signed up i feel like thinking color is such a great there's so much of your audience in there why not sign up um for a free accelerator a lot of us need each other's services which is so awesome Right. So if you use the group in the right way, I'm not saying get in there and be salesy, but getting get in there and network. I think a lot of times we forget that we're in the business of people. Sometimes I'll answer a message. It happened just today. I answered a message and someone said, oh, my gosh, you answered them. You answered a message. You answered my message like like, girl, yes, I'm a person and you're a person. Why would I not answer your message? Um, so I was, sometimes I answer people or I'll send a voice note and they don't, won't believe that I answered. Yes, we are people. We are all people. Um, I respect you and I would hope that you respect me. So yes, um, yes, we're in the business of people. Keep that in mind. No matter what business you are in, you're in the business of people. Um, yeah, guys, so I'm about to get off. I don't think anyone has any more questions. Merge, if you have any more questions about the Accelerator, let me know. Um, we are also going to be going live inside of the Accelerator. Um, I mean, inside of the Facebook group on Tuesday for a special chat about the Accelerator. So if you're, think, if you're wondering if it's for you, we're going to be covering that as well. Um... Asiya said, I, I'd love to see people, wait, I'd love to see a video on working with people as an introvert. Whew. When I master that, I'll make a video. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I can do a video on that. I have, I have a, a bit of a podcast on it of attracting brands as an introvert, but I can definitely do a video on that. Yes, that's a good one. Thank you. Um, yes, this is the thing. When you get guys give me topics, they may more than likely be the topics that we end up talking about right here live, or you might see a video pop up. So make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel um, or on Facebook here, either, either place that you are. Um, Miss Walita. Eight. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I was shocked when you replied to me on IG. Why? Why are you guys shocked? Um, <laughs> guys, I'm a person. We're all people. Um, Merge said, how do we sign up? I'll look through my emails because I attended Thinking Color. Yes, they even sent out an email today about the accelerator. So if you check your emails, you should be able to find one, you should be able to find um, the information for the accelerator. If not, I can drop it under this video for you guys so that, you know, you have access to it. Right. But um, it was it, the accelerator is going to be fun. If you enjoy thinking color, we are taking. First of all, I've gotten so much good feedback about um, thinking color being so much good information. So if you're looking to execute on that information, then yes, 
we would love to see you um, in the accelerator. It's gonna be much more focused and streamlined. So you're actually gonna be creating your course. You're actually going to be creating a sales page. You're understanding who you're selling to, which is one of the most important things. Guys, I'm telling you, even in your email sequences, speaking directly into that person's pains, I see so many people miss the mark on that um, all the time. I feel like it's one of the, guys, sales is so wonderful. It's such, a, it's such a beautiful thing if you understand how to effectively do it, right? Um, but yes, so we can definitely, definitely talk about that. Um, and Asiya, I'm going to take that note of um, being an introvert or how to work with people being an introvert. Um, but then I got to ask, like you said, let me look for it. Um, I'd love to see a video on... Hold on, um, on working with people as an introvert. So does that mean um, attracting people to work with or does it mean like working with other people? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> hey Rob! <laughs> Rob is one of my favorite people. I have not spoken to him in so long, but he's completely killing it in the video space as well. So if you're not following Rob, you definitely need to follow him. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. Good merge. Um, yes. I, I see. Let me know if that is, uh, if you're speaking about working with people like on a team or do you mean like attracting the right people to work with? Good question. I definitely say both. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Um, I think I can share more from the attracting people <laughs> as an introvert part, but yes. Um, yeah, guys. So I don't think anyone has any more questions. I feel like I'm rambling on here and I don't want to keep you guys on for too much longer. It was so good to see all of you. Um, so good to see you, Rob. We have to catch up soon. Um, Merge, thank you for coming through. I think I shared this on the wrong page. I shared it on <laughs> I shared it on my personal Facebook page and I was, was supposed to share it on my uh page page because I actually used Restream today for the first time, which was so cool. Um because I was able to do Facebook and Facebook and um what do you call it? What am I trying to say? Facebook and YouTube. Um also, I have something that I do want to share that I might share tonight inside of the Thinking Color groups. If you're in there, I might also go live in there um, because I have something that I want to share about knowing, knowing your, understanding your course idea. So I might share that tonight or tomorrow. Um, all right, guys, I'm about to get off. I love you guys for being here with me and for um, staying with me to do half a phase, <laughs> which was so funny. Um, but yeah, I'm really thankful for you guys. I love each and every one of you. And I thank you so much for your support and being here with me. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care. Now, if I could figure out how to get off the live. Okay, I found it. Bye, guys. <laughs>